how are you? I hope that you are well. So today I am doing a little bit of a instructional video for anyone that has purchased one of our slime kits. So you will receive two pots of the glue mix, a pot of whatever it is that you've chosen, whatever type of glitter, uh, whatever type of slime you've chosen. You receive two sticks, the activator, a squishy toy and instructions. Okay, so these are your instructions. This, these are the filler beads and they're to make a slushy slime or to make a, um, a fish bowl slime. We have flown beads and they will all be coordinating colours. So if you order a green, then you would get green flown beads. You might get clear, multicoloured. But again, you can choose all of that in your drop down menu on the listing. And I'll put the listing for this down below. These are the kinetic fans. I love this stuff. Okay, so, and then your activator. Now, start off by giving your activator a little shake. And then up to the marshmallow. And these come in, these are just chosen at random. They are super slow rising. They're lovely. So you will receive a random one of those. You're gonna need a bowl and some water. What we're gonna do is empty out our first tub of glue. You can make you you can make your slime in these little pots if you really want to, but I find there's just not enough room to mix it. But you want to get as much of that and these are all scented. So blue is bubblegum. Um green is apple and strawberry. Oops. Um Yellow is sherbet lemon. We've got all different kinds, different types of scents. And again, you can choose that um, in the list in. So you just want a little splash of water in there. And this is where you'll add in any um, shaving foam to make a fluffy slime, any foam and hand cleansers, um, anything like that. Anything that you're going to add into the into your slime mix um, will be now. Obviously, we can't guarantee your end results with anything that you put in, but it's pretty much it's pretty hardy, and you get enough activator that you can put things in and you can put extra glue in and you don't really have to worry too much so then we come on to that activator now this is a borax solution but because we have diluted it down to a safe level and um, it is perfectly safe we obviously you need to watch small children around it and um, we do say that this isn't a toy and should only be used under parental supervision so just bear that in mind you just twist off the lid it has got a child proof cap on it but again i would make sure you leave it out of children's reach so you just want to start off with a little squeeze of this with the activator it's better to start small and build up than it is to go in with a load if you over activate your slime you're going to end up with a stretchy putty um, and it's not going to do what you want it to do so we're just going to add another and i i just kind of play it by ear but you can already see that this is starting to work it's going a bit gloopy in the air in the middle um, and you want to give it a good few stirs between putting in ap applicator in. Um, sorry, between putting the activator in, you want to give it a good few minutes stirring. Um, because once it's once you've overactivated it, there's no bringing it back really. Um, without adding a ton more glue and a ton more water. I mean, you can bring it back, but it's sometimes just not worth saving. Um, so just be careful with putting your activator in. So that's starting to get there, but it's not pulling away from the sides as nicely as I want. So I'm going to pop in another switch of activator. And you can see there, this is what we mean by pulling away from the sides. So it's when it kind of starts cleaning the sides of the bowls. Just do that again. So you can see there that it's kind of sticking to itself around the edge of the bowl. And that is a, perf that is a perfect time to get in with your hand. 
and just give it a good mix. I'm so out of breath. I've just made slime with the kids, so my arms are tired. I'm going to put a bit more activator. And that's a perfect consistency. It's going to clean it itself all off the sides, so it's it's starting to work its magic it's not really a quick process and um, to make a really good slime you want to spend a bit more time mixing it than you do like just adding more activator as i say once you've over activated a slime it's really not the greatest so this is the messy bit this is the bit where we tip it out of the bowl if we can get it out of the bowl We tip it out of the bowl and we start to play with it because this is what makes it a really good slime. So you just want to be stretching it, folding it back on itself, stretching, folding back. And you'll see as I start out, it's kind of sticking to my hand. But with playing it, you're kind of, you're polymerizing it. So you're making all of those um, chemicals the chemical reaction between the glue and the borax, you're kind of, you're speeding up a little bit by playing with it. And that's what makes it into a good slime. You see it's just sticking to itself there. jiggly slime coming together and look at this this stuff really is jiggly and if you still find it's a bit I like to let jiggly slime set overnight or at least for a few hours and once it's done that then it becomes less sticky but if it is still sticky you can add a teeny tiny bit more activator that probably needs just a little bit more like literally just a few drops of activator just to take that stickiness away um, and you will be fine and that will be it but like I say you can um, I'm over the next few weeks we're going to be uploading more slime tutorials of how you can turn these kits into um, foamy slime and fishbowl slime and all that kind of goodness so check back for more videos and until then we will speak to you soon bye